Welcome. Today, we're going to discuss how to set up Snap Center for the SQL Server plugin. Before we begin, I'd like to talk about the challenges that both database administrators and storage administrators face today. Modern day organization requires fast backup, cloning, and restore of databases. Traditional backup, recovery, and clone methods are slow and inefficient. Typically, these methods do not meet service level agreement windows. Recovery processes often go untested. Snap Center provides centralized backup, restore, and clone of SQL Server database management. More frequent backup copies typically require more storage and are more difficult to manage. Managing data seamlessly, both on-premises and in a hybrid cloud, is a challenge. It required complex coordination between teams. Snap Center makes it easy to access resources across teams, eliminating the need of multiple tools. So how do we solve these challenges? Snap Center enables you to easily perform common operations related to database protection in a single pane of glass to web UI. Snap Center has a simple centralized dashboard and reporting that supports RBAC and REST APIs. Snap Center can create copies or clones of your databases. This is commonly done for test development purposes where you want to test a procedure or a new version of software without impacting your production databases. NetApp's writable clones consume no additional storage space other than the changes you make as you test. You can also create the clone on your secondary storage systems, making use of your secondary storage systems and not impacting performance on your primary storage environment. Now let's take a look at some simple architecture deployment of Snap Center. This is a typical topology of a Snap Center deployment. The SQL Server plugin can be deployed through a Snap Center server without remoting to SQL Server hosts. Snap Center will then manage backup, restore, and cloning of SQL Server databases. Here's the workflow you'll see in the following demo. Let's begin. First, we will launch Snap Center. Then we will log into Snap Center using our domain credentials. From the dashboard, you'll see Get Started on the top left. We now will follow Get Started on the right pane. First, we'll add our storage connections by adding storage virtual machine name and credentials. We provide storage virtual machine name, username in this case will be vsadmin and password of vsadmin. Now, our storage connection has been added to Snap Center. We now will add run as credentials to authenticate users for Snap Center operations. Typically, you will use domain login accounts to associate with run as credentials. In this case, we will use the run as name SC admin. Now we will add our host. First, provide the host name. Now we want to install the SQL Server plugin. Snap Center recognizes that there are no plugins installed on this host. It also detects the Windows operating system and selects Microsoft Windows plugin. We will select Microsoft SQL Server plugin to install. Plugin is now installing on selected host. You can check the progress by selecting monitor on the left. In order to view the progress in detail, double click the particular job. After our plugin has been successfully installed, we will configure the host. Configure the SQL Server plugin by selecting C colon MS SQL SI as a mount point for a host log directory. We now have installed, set up, and configured Snap Center SQL Server plugin. As you can see, deploying SQL Server plugin is fast and easy, and this can all be accomplished within Snap Center without having to remote connect to the SQL Server host. Thank you for watching. Please look for more videos on how to backup, restore, and clone databases using Snap Center with our SQL Server plugin.